Hey everyone, welcome back to another Thread Up Denim Box unboxing. This is a 50 pound box and it came from Phoenix, Arizona. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lindsay and I'm a part-time reseller. And I actually already opened this box. It arrived on a rainy day and there was a little bit of water damage. So I opened it up immediately to make sure nothing would, was um, soaked because I didn't want to deal with any mold. So I already saw everything in this box and um, it's not a great box. It's actually probably the worst box I've ever gotten. And um, I did receive a lot of children's clothes in this box and I did reach out to thread up. Um, now I have had children's items in these boxes before, but it was like maybe three or four. Uh, but in this box, I believe it was over 20 pieces and I will put the exact amount on the screen. So I reached out to them, letting them know that there was a lot of children's clothes in this box and they did give me a 10% refund, which was around $5. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments if you would have done the same thing. Um, but let's just get right into it. I have the bad stuff on top and then, um, like the maybe stuff where I need to like look them, the brands up. And then there are a few pieces that like will for sure get listed. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, first is a piece of Cherokee size 2T, little kids. Um, these are really cute, but they're very stained and I don't really have anybody to give these to, so those are gonna get donated. This is a pair of American Eagle and a lot of these have a busted butt. So those are getting donated. Next is another pair of American Eagle. Uh, these are in better condition than the last pair I just showed you guys, but they are a size four and they are a jegging and these are not selling for me. So I will be donating those. Unless they, if they're in good condition, I might send them back to thread up. So there probably are a few pieces in here that I'm going to send back. This is just a pair of, it says angels on the back. Not a brand that I will be selling. Here's another pair of kids. These are DK and Y, uh, size 4T. Um, they're a little worn out, so... I would have tried these out on my daughter, but I don't think that these will fit her. So I'm just going to donate those. Next is Cat and Jack Skinny 6X. And these I would have saved for my daughter, but they do have some damage. So I'm going to donate those. Uh, here is a Style & Co. But the butt is ripped. So those are getting donated. Uh, these, so I'm wondering what you guys think. To me, this doesn't count as denim. Like these are not even jean material. I don't know why they put stuff like this in the box sometimes, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, these are just Jim Jimboree size 12 red pants. Those are getting donated. Next is another pair of American Eagle. And these, the butt is blown out here too. I feel like the pants that are damaged like that, where the butt is like ripped or the crotch is ripped, I feel like, can you even fix stuff like that? I feel like that should be like maybe in a scrap fabric box maybe, I don't know. Here's a jean jacket. I don't know this brand Judith March, but it has like this stuff on the back, but it is um, very messed up. So that's getting donated. Uh, next is Sonoma uh, skinny jeans, size 10, uh, another blown out butt. Next is Arizona, which is a brand I do not sell. So these are going to get donated. Okay, next is 
a brand called Vanity. Never heard of the brand, but these have staining, so those will get donated. These are some Lee pants. Um, they're probably, I don't know if they're vintage or not, but I don't like them, so they're gonna get donated. This is a New Day size two white skirt, has stains on it. These are a cute pair of shorts uh, by Old Navy. They're a size eight, but if they were a size six, I would have kept them. So these are gonna get donated. Here is a pair of Hollister, size 27. Um, they're, they have some stretching, so these are gonna get donated. And I don't really sell Hollister, so. Here's another pair of kids' pants. These are three T's, Cat and Jack. Um, they're cute, but I don't know if I know anybody that has a... Oh, these have damage to them, so they're gonna get donated. Uh, next is Why Am I Dream High Rise Anklet Straight Dream Fit, size one slash 25. I, I think this is a fast fashion brand. I'm going to look it up again. I feel like I've had this brand before, but I, I'm i just going to look it up and see how that does because these actually are in good condition. They might go back to thread up. Okay, next is a pair of Mavi. I think these might be a good brand. Uh, I think there's another pair in here. So I'm going to look these up again to make sure or I'll send them back to thread up. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Okay, next is Blues Society size uh, seven, and they have this, these, this is, these are destroyed. I feel like you can't really fix these. So they should have went in a scrap fabric box. Uh, next is just a pair of H&M jeans. They're in pretty good condition. I don't think ThreadUp takes H&M, but if they do, I might just send these back. Uh, next is another pair of Hollister. Um, yeah, I, these ones actually are in better condition. Uh, so they'll either get donated or sent back to ThreadUp. Okay, so that is technically the, the bad stuff. So I have everything separated already. So the next few things are either I'm going to be listing them, I need to look them up, or I'm going to give them to family members, or I'm keeping. So yeah, that's the other half of the box. Okay, next is Levi's denim leggings. Uh, they're like a camo. They are cute, but I just don't think I want to hold on to them that long for my daughter. They're size 14, so they're like a bigger kid's uh, size. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Uh, next, these are Levi's Denison uh, Skinny Fit. Let me see if there's a size in here. Size 7, but they're kind of worn out, so these are going to get donated, I think. Actually, no. I don't know what I was going to do with these. They seem... Like they're, I don't know why I put them in this pile, but these are gonna get donated. Okay, next is Carter's 5T Skinny. I'm gonna hold on to these for my daughter. Okay, next is, these are cute, but I don't think there's a size or a brand. Let me see. Oh, there might be a size. No, these are cute. I just don't know what brand they are. So I'm gonna try these for my daughter and see. If not, I'll just donate them. Next is Cat and Jack overalls and it is a size six. These I'm gonna keep for my daughter. Next is another pair of overalls. These are Old Navy six to 12 months. I might list these for super cheap, maybe five bucks. Next is a brand called Rubbish. It's a size small. I don't know this brand, so I'm gonna look it up, but I'm thinking I might keep this piece because I've been wanting a chambray top. Next is a pair of Shein, size large. They're just short shorts. 
Okay, next is that brand YMI again, size 11. I might try these on. They might be too big for me, but I have a big butt, so they might fit. Um, just a pair of green shorts. Uh, next is H&M jeans. Yes, size size 6X, just black denim. I might try these for my daughter as well. Uh, next is a pair of Old Navy 3Ts. They're cute. They have like a little flare. I just don't know, what was I gonna do with these? I think I was gonna try to put them on offer up for free or something. Uh, next is another pair of overalls. These are crew cuts, uh, J. Crew, size 10. I'm probably going to list these because they're in really good condition. So by now you can see there's a lot of kids stuff in here. Uh, next is another piece that's kids. It is Old Navy Rockstar Super Skinny Jegging. Uh, these are a size 2T, which I'm probably going to put these on offer up as well, or maybe I'll just donate. I'm just not sure yet. Next is a pair of Levi's Bermuda shorts. These are kids size 12. They're cute. So if there's no stains, maybe I will sell them. Next is a pair of American Eagle. I believe these are men's, but they're very small. Uh, they don't have a style in here. Or yes, they do. Um... The style is just called loose. They kind of look like cargo pants. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. I might list those. Next is a really cute pair. These are like stretchy pants that look like denim. They're bell bottoms and they don't have a size, but I'm guessing they're around twos or fours. I tried these on and I couldn't get them over my hips, so those are the next two sizes below mine. So I think these are really cute and I'm gonna list these. Uh, next is that Mavi brand again. Um, I think these, I might list these. They're men's. Um, they're in really good condition. Next is blank NYC size 27. These are, uh, it says the Great Jones. I don't know if that's the style, but they are white. So they might have, yeah, I already see a stain on here. I don't think this brand does well anyway, but I will look up comps and see if it's worth trying to get the stain out. Next is a Madewell jean jacket, and it's a size large, but they cropped it. So um, I don't know. I'm going to look up the comps on this jacket, and if it's worth listing, I might. Next is Vintage No Boundaries, which is Walmart. Um, this looks really Y2K to me. It's a size three, super mini skirt or micro mini skirt. So I'm probably gonna list this, put it on Poshmark and Depop. Next is an Old Navy Romper. This is a size large, 10 to 12 in kids. I'm gonna see if my niece wants this because that's her next size up. Uh, these are Calvin Klein black shorts. They're a size 12. They're in really good condition. I just don't know how well these will do, so I'm gonna look it up. I did recently say I didn't wanna sell Calvin Klein, but this is a really bad box and I need to try to make my money back at least. Okay, next is the brand Lila Ryan, size 26. I have never heard of this brand, but they are pretty beat up. Um, but the tag looks interesting to me, so I need to look this brand up. Okay, next is Rag and Bone. They're size 28, and they are the Low Rise Slim Boyfriend. Um, I'm going to try these on because they're my size. Uh, but Rag and Bone just doesn't do very well for me. Um, however... I might try to sell them or maybe send them back to thread up. We'll see. Okay, next is a pair of Paige jeans, which I've never sold Paige before. 
um, because when I see them, they're like always beat up and stretched out in the crotch area, but these are in really good condition. Um, they are a size, okay, I'm not finding a size, but they are the Stella crop. And they're in really good condition. Uh, next is a pair of Banana Republic Sculpt Skinny, size 26 slash 2. Um, I don't know. They are in really nice condition, but I have a few pairs of Banana Republic Skinnies listed, and they're not doing very well, so I might send them to thread up. Next is a jean jacket, and this is by Lucky Bram. The Lucky Brand tag is not in here, but I saw these little clovers on the pocket lining. And then I checked the buttons and the buttons say Lucky Brand. Uh, there's no size in here, so I'm gonna have to try it on and see uh, what it fits like. And I will probably list this, maybe even keep it. Next is a Gap Denim size four chambray top. I'm going to keep this for my daughter. Okay, next is a pair of Levi's Quality Crafted Italian Selvage Denim. They are the 7-Eleven Skinny Filiformi. That's what it says. I don't know. Size 26. Uh, they're in pretty good condition, so I will probably list these. Uh, next is a pair of Time and True size 14 high rise. Um, Time and True is Walmart. And I do have a few pairs of these type of jeans or this brand listed um, because they're in bigger sizes, but they're not moving. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. Uh, next is a pair of Lee Vintage Modern high rise straight leg ankle size 32. I don't know how well Lee jeans are doing these days, but I'm I'm gonna look it up and see. And if they're not doing great, then I'll just donate them. Okay, next is Madewell, and these are a curvy high rise skinny in size 27. They're not in the best condition, but they're not like totally beat up. So I might try these on or I'm, I don't know, because Madewell jeans are just not doing very well for me lately, so I don't know yet what I'm going to do with those. Okay, next is a pair of Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. The tag is kind of peeling off. Um, they are the, the Jane style, size 26. I know this is technically like a designer brand, um, but I watch a lot of the designer box unboxing videos and they always say this brand doesn't resell for much. So I'm just going to look up the comps and see how they do. They are in really good condition. So this might be a pair that I list um, or maybe I'll send it back to thread up. Okay, next is Seven for All Mankind, which this brand does not do well for me. Uh, it's a size 27, but the style is not in here. Um, they're not dojos because it doesn't have the seven on the back of the butt. I think they're straight leg. So, oh, and they do have some stretching and some paint on here. So those are just going to get donated. Okay, next is Michael Kors, which I've never sold Michael Kors before. These are a pair of white jeans and they're a size six petite. And I'm gonna look them up and see how they do. And if they don't have any stains, I might list them. I don't know. I'm not sure about this brand. Okay, this is the last pair and it's J brand, which I think that's an older tag. These are a size 25 and they look to be okay and they are kind of cute. So I'll look up the comps and see if they're worth listing. So yeah, that was my box. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping I can make my money back and maybe a small profit. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I definitely think that the box is bad because it came from Arizona. I feel like Arizona boxes 
are always bad. Um, I've had maybe one or two that were decent, but most of the time their denim boxes are not good. But this one by far is the worst one I have ever ordered. I will still order these boxes because most of the time they are um, pretty good. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys want to see more of my unboxings, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.